First up is thumbnailcheck.com, which lets you preview different titles and thumbnails on YouTube. You can see exactly how they will look on desktop and mobile, in light and dark mode, and even where longer titles will get cut off. It is a fantastic way to ensure your thumbnails and titles stand out before you publish. Second is vocalremover.com. Just drag and drop any audio or video file and it will separate the vocals and music into two downloads. It is perfect for removing copyrighted background music or taking out the music that got baked into other videos. Let's say you're out filming and you forgot about the background music. Just like that, it's gone. Just add in your own royalty free music track so your video can get monetized. Hey, ride with me, if you ride with me, you can slide with me. Next is YTJobs.com. This is a job board focused on YouTube related jobs. Whether you're a creator looking for gigs or a YouTuber seeking professionals like thumbnail designers, script writers, or video editors, this site is a gold mine. You can see verified work, testimonials, and easily contact talent. Whether you are talent or whether you're looking for talent, this site is absolutely incredible. 11 Labs is next. 11 Labs, 11 Labs. That is great, I cannot say that quick. I gotta slow down, that sounds weird, but 11 Labs is next. Listen, among all the text-to-speech websites, this one stands out to me as being the best. The free version lets you turn up to 10,000 characters per month into natural sounding audio in 14 languages. It's ideal for adding narration to your videos or creating YouTube shorts. Check this out. Watch this YouTube short that we've made with a real voice and a 11 labs voice. The most dangerous social media challenges. First up is the milk crate challenge. People stacked crates and tried to climb them like stairs. The crates would inevitably collapse, leading to broken bones and spinal cord injuries. Next is the bird box challenge. People blindfolded themselves while doing daily tasks. Someone even did this while driving and crashed. Tell me which one you like best in the comments. Next is Creator Insider, a YouTube channel run by YouTube employees. They share news, policy, policies and updates every single week. This is a YouTube channel ran by the people behind YouTube. These are YouTube employees. Yes, yes, the content is valuable. Every creator should be subscribed. Now the next four are free browser extensions that make YouTube better for creators. Return YouTube dislike brings back the public dislike count, even though YouTube removed it in 2021. If you're like me and you find it helpful to see the dislikes on a video, this tool is for you. DFTube. DFTube helps you stay focused on YouTube by removing distractions like suggested videos and comments. When you're in consumer mode, there is no problem falling down a rabbit hole of YouTube content that distracts you from your main focus. However, when you're in creator mode and you need to get some serious research done or you need to look at specific videos without the distractions of eye grabbing suggested videos or all the deep diving into comments, this tool is great. DFTube lets you choose what you temporarily remove so you can get work done undistracted. I don't know about y'all, but like, I struggle to focus when all these things are distracting me. This tool has helped me. I hope that it helps you. Next is YouTube Shorts Block. This gives you the option to completely hide shorts while you're on desktop. While I don't use it for that, I do use it to watch YouTube Shorts on the regular YouTube interface rather than the shorts player. For me, this is useful for research when you need to see information that would otherwise be hidden. And to see all this additional data, I use another tool. You've probably heard about this one, the TubeBuddy browser extension. Within the TubeBuddy browser extension is a free tool called Videolytics. This feature shows additional data that doesn't display publicly on YouTube videos, like the tags that are helping a YouTube short get discovered. Now, I know everybody has different opinions about tags on YouTube, but when it comes to YouTube shorts, tags seem to play a higher importance over any other content type, to the point that YouTube now encourages and suggests tags based on the content of your YouTube shorts. Using the combination of these tools, you can see the tags that are working for successful shorts and consider adding them to your videos if they make sense. I have a quick favor to ask you. Around 68% of the viewers on this channel are not subscribed. My goal is to get that number down to 50%. If you like our content at all, please hit the subscribe button. I promise you that this helps more than you can imagine. And the bigger the channel gets, the bigger the videos get. Please let me know which tool you're excited to try. Also, I made this video that teaches how smaller channels can grow using the community tab. I really hope you check that out next. And don't, don't you dare forget to subscribe.